264. All right, everyone. This is a test. I don't know the gender on this one. Sometimes with this pair, it's been hard to tell. Purple Greek and Rosalind Franklin. Put in the comments right now what you think 264 is, just by looking at it. Great balance. There's the wing. Flights aren't super big. Sometimes hens have a little bit shorter flights. I love the way this bird handles though. Keel goes all the way to the vents. The vents are slightly open but tight. Again, there's the balance. What do you guys think? Cock or hen? Two eight nine. Here's another one out of that same pair. Cock or hen? Similar structure. Slightly smaller than that last one. Great balance. Let's see that single pin tail. Let's look at the wing. Two eight nine, cocker hen. Put it in the comments. Two eight nine, cast your votes, folks. Okay, we're gonna have to be quick about this because it just started raining. I don't want to stand out in the rain. These guys probably don't care. All right, a few of these. I'm gonna pull some feathers to do a DNA test. The DNA test I'm gonna do is just a gender test. That one right there. I don't know if that's a cocker hen. Kind of looks like a hen to me, but. But this pair, I've been fooled before. So. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful bird. Looks just like its mother, Rosalind Franklin. So, for the DNA test, you just need a few feathers. I usually come grab a few down here. Plenty, right there. And she's done. Put that in a Ziploc bag and then send it. This cock just had a bath. Look at these gorgeous guys. Look at these gorgeous boys. Let's see, who do we have here? That looks like Kevin in front. That's Kevin's brother to the side. And we've got Jacked right there in the middle. No, that's not jacked. That is a purple Greek, Rosalind Franklin bird. Jacked is there in the back. Then we got Kevin with his head turned up looking at a bird. <laughs> and then right here we got another purple Greek, Rosalind Franklin bird. Oh my goodness. That's a good looking bunch of cocks right there. I will be breeding out of Several of these guys. They're kind of my backup stock cocks. And what's interesting is I actually have several other um, purple Greek Rosalind Franklin cocks that bred this year. It's kind of got some redundancy there. There's that one. It has a fantastic eye. I'm going to do a video of just this bird's eye because it's pretty remarkable for those who like eye sign. And then that one just walked back that one handles incredibly well the one right in the middle beautiful birds 
Hope you guys enjoyed your bath. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. The final five 2024 bred Robertson family racing pigeons. Some of these guys they were just vaccinated last night and i just left them in the crate overnight um in indoors so i can do this dna test yep we're going to do a dna test a gender test on a couple of these because i have to make selections on which birds i want to keep and if I have a small loft, I kind of would like to know beforehand if I'm keeping roughly the same number of cocks and hens. All right, I got my bags pre-labeled with the band numbers. Got one more I got to go retrieve from inside the loft. But yeah, we're ready to go. Oh my goodness, look at this boy. Woo! What a beauty. He is a beefy boy too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, this is out of Falco and Panaka. Panaka was bred by Yuani Saints, Cuba family loft. Runs the black gold race. Wowzers. Very long keel, goes to the vents. A little bit of space there, but totally acceptable. Wow, he's gonna shape up to be amazing, physically. Hopefully he'll be amazing as a breeder as well. Look at that sharp bird. Another one off of Falco and Panaka. That's a nest mate to that silver. Look at that sharp looking blue. A lot of feistiness to her. Oh yeah. Man, pigeons always think you want to look at the back of their head. Hey, check out the back of my head. No, we don't want to see the back of your head. Come on, show us the good side. Yeah, like that, that's better. Oh baby, I like this bird. That's a good one. Ooh, feisty! What a sweetheart. All right. Feathers. DNA. And here we have the final one off of Vominos and the Cantadora hen. This one I'm keeping. I have several full siblings. I'm gonna keep a couple and then a couple are available for transfer. But again, I really don't know the gender on this. If I had to guess, I'd guess a hen. Well, not positive, so we're gonna find out. Vaccinated this bird for PMV last night, so she's not looking as sharp, because her body is diverting resources into an immune response. So, but still, look at that. She's a beauty. Beautiful bird. Let's keep her. Feathers. There you go, sweetheart. Just get those little feathers down in there and we're good. 
seal it up. Add to the stack. We are good. Our work is done. We've got them. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so there are multiple sequencing companies that perform these types of tests for racing pigeons. One that I've recently started using is Phoenix Bio. Um, the other one is Animal Genetics. I think there are advantages of each one, but Phoenix Bio is much cheaper, $10 a test. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. So, racing pigeon tests. Here are the pigeon tests. And there's some instructions on how to submit a pigeon order. It's pretty straightforward. But yeah, these are the tests that they have. They have some of the performance genes. We'll talk about those and the merits of those um, markers, those genes in another video. For now though, I'm just gonna do the sex test. And then you just select the quantity and pay for it. And then send in your samples. And that's what you get in the end. There we go.